Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to the Mega Man X Community Let's Play. Never played before. Never played Mega Man X1. I've played 4, 5, and 6, and I've played the remake of this. I hope this isn't too cringeworthy to watch. Doing very well here. Can you do no. Woof, he did that. Hey, you, like, oh, what the fuck? How am I supposed to fucking dodge them fuckers?
I'm so sorry. You have to remember, I haven't played a Mega Man game in years. I am very rusty. I weren't that much good to begin with, to be fair. There we go. That's a bit dumb. Anyone want to drop any life in a minute? Not covering ourselves with glory in this game, I tell ya. <clears throat> Hopefully someone will drop a fucking bit of life though, Jesus. Oh, brilliant. Nope. Fuck you. Chicken with you. Damn fucking fantastic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<coughs> oh wow, my odds are slim. Well, hope you enjoyed that playthrough. <clears throat> God damn it. Um, music's badass, though. This is really hard to... Spam button. Oh. Start with this. Bump down his life, and then start with the the tornado shit. Oh, this is brilliant! Yes. you <coughs> ladies and gentlemen Did Ladies and gentlemen, um, this has been my contribution to the Mega Man mass walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed my bit. Hope I didn't make too much of a fool myself. Until next time, see ya. Time for the chameleon. Okay, here we go. Dax, well, he's scared with the big tongue. He won't give you a big kiss and lick your face all over. Yeah, it's real gross, huh? Alright, so this level is actually fairly easy as long as you know what's coming up. If you don't know what's coming up, a little more challenging. That does happen sometimes. It's alright. So... We earlier were able to get um, Boomerang from Boomer Kuanger. And so he makes it pretty easy to defeat the boss if you do it right. Now, because I've done this before, I'm not going to do it right, of course. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yep, we want to go up above. Uh, get the next item up here. So, this. Nope. I didn't do big enough jump. It's a little bit difficult on the configuration here. I guess in the original it's kind of too, but you need to do a first jump. There we go. And then up. Now, this fight 
makes your fingers tired. It takes a while. But if you do it correctly, it shouldn't be too bad. It's just jump and shoot, really, honestly. And dodge, like this. Just, like, bolt away, basically. That's pretty much all it is. I usually wait a little bit longer, yeah, for the pink, because it does more damage. Just less overall. So... Usually it's, yeah, on the second one. Eh, I messed that up. Because I waited too long to go. There we go. You have to hit him in the head. If you notice some of the other things that kind of plink off of the lower parts of him. Like the arms and stuff. Pretty much he's immune to any attacks down below. So you have to hit him on the eye. Assuming that's an eye. Otherwise, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be on top. Sexor! You're getting tired in your fingers! Shut up. No, but your fingers are getting tired! Shut up, I said. Psst. Stop trying to psych me out, Scotsman. But seriously! Yeah, okay. Enough. <laughs> you did it too early there! Yeah, I know, you jerk. So he'll start to smoke a little bit once he takes damage. Takes a little bit to get there. He'll be, start with just one single puff coming off of him. And then it'll be two puffs. And then I think it's, I don't remember if he gets a third puff or if it just, the two puffs go faster. So he's probably like two thirds of the way dead now. Something like that. This is important. I'm just assuming that the whoever's doing the next level wanted this item. So I'm doing this because you would want... I don't remember which boss it is is weak to the, to the item you get here. But you get a... Well, so actually you get better armor. So you take a lot lower damage, actually. And then you get from defeating this boss at the end of the level that's when you get the item and i can't remember who the item is the so each boss has a particular thing that they're weak to and i can't remember which one which boss is weak to it's like a three shot green thing i don't remember what it's called either Yeah, he's just about dead. Another couple of hits. And he'll be done. Maybe. I haven't really been counting. But he's getting close. You can tell by how fast he's smoking. There we go. So now... You get this. Which is your armor upgrade, like I was saying. This capsule contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. <laughs> Tex, I don't think he like make that noise with the voice. Well, I don't know what voice he makes. I'm just doing a voice. I have no idea. And now we're out of here. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Now, you saw earlier some of these blocks falling. So these would normally, you'd have a bunch of these falling if you just took this route. But because you went the other way and fought the guy up above, that removed those. So you just have these enemies, but everything else that would have fallen is gone. So these guys, you can see our clearly are pretty easy to get past as long as you don't walk underneath them and get hit of course or whatever all right so we just have this last part of the level not too bad 
it's actually really super easy. Honestly. That's assuming I can do it correctly. <laughs> Could I say super easy and then of course I screw it up or something? That'd be hilarious, right? If you don't kill those guys, they get little inchworms on the ground that damage you and those guys, um, yeah, you can't actually hit them. So it sucks. Oh, oh hang on. I'll wait for this guy. Timing this is important too. Right, so you can not get hit. A lot more of them on earlier levels too, so that's fantastic. Okay, now we have this armor. Whoops. Trying to take too much damage from these other things that you have to deal with, of course, which I'm not doing a very good job of. Alright. Alright. Hopefully. Ah! Go oh, friggin'. I hate you guys. Stop. I'm worried about how much damage this guy's taken now. Uh-oh. There we go. Ah! Took a little bit of damage before going in. I think we'll be okay. If not, I guess I've got... What, four lives in the bottom right, you can see, so shouldn't be too bad either way. We want this. This is the Boomerang Cutter. You get that from Boomer Kawanga, like I was saying earlier, that boss earlier, so. You want to do him first before you do this? Um, if you want this boss to be fairly easy. I mean, it's still doable without, but it's a lot easier if you get the Boomerang, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he gonna lick you again. See, Zach, so he won't kiss you. I know, right? Whoops. There we go. Almost undamaged. Pretty easy fight. Anyway, my name is Zexor. Thanks for watching. See you guys will uh, enjoy the rest of the <laughs> enjoy the rest of the game. Till next time, peace. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. While you're doing some of the stuff that the screen is telling you to do, be sure to also check the description and check out some of the players that partook in this video. Subscribe to them and do all the likey and followy things. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.